Choosing your hotel in Tokyo is vital to make the most out of your stay in this great city. But with Tokyo being such a huge city, it can be a little intimidating to know where exactly you should book your hotel. Well, don't worry, because today I'm going to show you the best areas to stay in Tokyo. Not only that, but I'll show you all the transportation options in each area so you know how convenient it is. And I'll show you exactly why they're the best places to stay in Tokyo. Also, stick around to the end. Because I've included some bonus tips to make sure you don't make the common tourist mistakes when you book your hotel. All right, get your booking apps ready and let's get started. Number six, Asakusa Station. As most of you may know, Asakusa has a very traditional atmosphere and a slower way of life. Unlike the fast-paced lifestyle Tokyo is known for. With it being a slower part of the city, Asakusa Station is a great place to stay if you are looking for a nice hotel that won't be surrounded by bustling sidewalks and obnoxious partiers and tourists, at least when it's nighttime. While Asakusa will certainly be packed with people trying to get a glimpse of the famous Sensoji Temple during the day, the majority of the area shuts down after 8 to 9 p.m., allowing you to enjoy the comfort of your hotel in peace. Speaking of peaceful, another great reason to stay at Asakusa is for the beautiful views you can get at night. Just across the river, you can take in the beautiful sights of Tokyo Skytree at night or appreciate the mystical view of Sensoji Temple, which is also lit up during the evening. Putting all the scenery and atmosphere aside, Asakusa also has access to some major train lines like the Ginza, KQ, and Asakusa Line. The Ginza Line can connect you to other stations and train lines to get you to most places in Tokyo with ease, whereas the KQ and Asakusa Lines provide very easy access to either Haneda or Narita Airport, respectively. And finally, what makes Asakusa a great place to stay are its very affordable hotel prices. You can get some pretty good deals that will beat out other areas in Tokyo, both in price and room size. However, the biggest downsides to Asakusa are its distance from most major Tokyo attractions and the lack of major train lines. Ginza is really the only major line that can get you to other big areas of Tokyo, meaning you'll most likely have to transfer trains at least once, if not multiple times, to get you where you need to go. If you pair this with the fact that Asakusa is on the opposite side of a lot of the major things to do in Tokyo, you'll find yourself spending a lot of time on the train rather than exploring the city. While Asakusa is a nice and quiet place to stay in Tokyo, if that's not really your thing, don't worry. I have plenty of other places on this list that I'm sure that will fit your plans perfectly. Number five, Ueno Station. Ueno is another fantastic place to stay in Tokyo because of its perfect mix between energetic nightlife and beautiful scenic spots to visit. At Ueno, you will find the peaceful side of this area inside its iconic local attraction, Ueno Park. This park is full of amazing wide open spaces to just relax in and even has a massive lake you can check out and even rent a paddleboard on. But walk right outside this famous park and you will be met with the lively and energetic streets of Ameyokucho, full of outdoor markets, shops, and izakayas. With all of this in mind, Ueno is perfect for travelers looking for a casual and lively nightlife, but that are also looking to have the ability to retreat to a quiet hotel after all that partying. In terms of transportation, Ueno has various options to get around and see the many attractions Tokyo has to offer. For example, you have the Hibiya in Ginza Line, which can help you easily cut through the center of Tokyo. Along with this, you have easy access to both Narita and Haneda airports, utilizing the Keisei Ueno Skyliner and the Keihin Toku Line. And lastly, you have the Yamanote Line, the famous train line for tourists to easily traverse any major station in Tokyo. Local lines aren't the only great things about Ueno either, as the station also has access to several Shinkansen lines to get you pretty much anywhere you need to go in northern Japan. So if you have a trip planned to the northern end of Japan at any point during your stay, then Ueno Station could be a very viable spot to stay the night before your big trek. Like Asakusa, the biggest downsides to staying at Ueno Station is while you do have major train lines like the Yamanote, Ginza, and Hibiya Line, you are still pretty far away from a lot of Tokyo's major attractions. However, you are a little bit closer to them all than you would be at Asakusa. Up next, we have an area that is perfect for people that are trying to have a little 
little extra fun after the sun goes down. Number four, Shibuya Station. Shibuya needs no introduction, with it being known around the world as one of Tokyo's major nightlife hubs. But did you know that it is also a fantastic area to get a hotel as well? And that's because of its direct line to Narita Airport using the Narita Express and its close proximity to Haneda Airport as well, being only 30 minutes away by local train. Not only is it convenient for airports, but you also have access to a lot of different train lines that can get you to most notable places in Tokyo. For example, you have the Inokashira line, which can get you to Shimokitazawa, Tokyo's trendy thrift shopping central. You can also take the Denentoshi line to see the famous Gotokushi Temple, or you can take the Shonan Shinjuku line to easily reach the iconic beach towns of Kamakura and Inoshima. And of course, the Yamanote line is right there to help you get to any major train station throughout Tokyo. The various transportation options aren't the only great reason to stay in Shibuya, as there are dozens of shopping centers that are only a short walking distance from most of Shibuya's hotels. If you choose to stay here, that is. But if you do, you could easily stuff your bags and backpacks with souvenirs from the Nintendo store in Shibuya Parko or the modern shopping complex of Shibuya Scramble Square, walk back to your room, unload your bags, and do it all over again. Your suitcases aren't the only thing you can get full at Shibuya, as there are literally thousands of restaurants in the area to choose from, with most of them staying open even late into the night. Shibuya is famously known for its wild nightlife, with dozens of bars, clubs, and izakayas open late into the night and even the next morning. So if you're looking for an area that has tons of things to do at all hours of the day, then Shibuya is the perfect place for you to stay. Number three, Yokohama Station. Okay, before you guys start raging that Yokohama isn't in Tokyo, just hear me out because it is actually a great place to stay for Tokyo and much more. The biggest reason why Yokohama is one of the best places to stay for Tokyo is because of how quickly you can get to any part of Tokyo, no matter what side it's on. For example, if you want to quickly get to the west side of Tokyo and start your day there, all you have to do is take the Toyoko or Shonan Shinjuku line to Shibuya or Shinjuku station, which will get you there in as little as 30 minutes. Or say that you want to get to the east side of Tokyo quickly. Well, all you need to do is take the Tokyo Ueno line and you can be at Tokyo station in as little as 25 minutes. So no matter what side of Tokyo you want to start on, you can be there considerably fast. Also, Tokyo isn't the only great place you would have easy access to should you stay in Yokohama. With Yokohama host to dozens of major train lines, you can easily get to many famous locations in half the time it would take to get there from Tokyo. And at nearby Shin Yokohama Station, you have access to Shinkansens that can easily get you anywhere to Western Japan, along with Yokohama being surprisingly close to, well, pretty much everything. You'll also find hotels that are overall quite cheaper than Tokyo, making it more cost effective to stay in Yokohama. And just putting aside Tokyo, Yokohama is is overall a great city to check out by itself. I usually compare Yokohama to a mini version of Tokyo, but with a lot less people. You have famous attractions to check out like the Cup Noodle Museum, where you can make your own cup noodles, Red Brick Warehouse, which is home to Japan's biggest Oktoberfest. You can check out Cosmo World, which has one of Japan's biggest Ferris wheels that overlooks all of Yokohama. You have one of the world's biggest Chinatowns, and of course, the iconic iconic life-sized moving Gundam. Anyways, let me know in the comments section below if you think it's a great place to stay for Tokyo, or if you need some more convincing from me. Number two, Tokyo Station. Tokyo Station is the best area to stay on the east side of Tokyo for several reasons. To start, Tokyo's local train line selection is massive. With over a dozen local train lines to choose from, you can get a direct line to almost anywhere you need to go in Japan's biggest city. For for example, you can take the Yamanote to quickly access any major station in Tokyo, the Ueno Tokyo line to quickly travel north or south, or the Chuo line to easily cross over Tokyo from east to west. Not only is the local train system extremely convenient at Tokyo Station, but the Shinkansen system is by far the most diverse and at its best here as well. From Tokyo Station, you can use essentially every major Shinkansen to easily 
literally reach all the far corners of Japan. What also makes this area so great is how much there is to shop and eat in and around Tokyo Station. Inside the station, you'll find dozens of great restaurants to dine at and amazing shops with souvenirs or delicious desserts of all kind. And that's just inside the station. As you make your way outside, you'll find dozens of additional upscale shopping areas and restaurants, which will be more than enough to explore for a few nights stay. And to top it all off, Tokyo Station provides a ton of different hotel options. So if you're looking to stay in an area with plenty of things to do and have easy access to anywhere, not only in Tokyo, but all of Japan, then Tokyo Station is the perfect place for you. But while Tokyo Station is one of the best areas to stay, the next area on this list is the best place to stay in Tokyo. Number one, Shinjuku Station. Shinjuku Station is by far the best area to stay in Tokyo. Like Tokyo Station, Shinjuku is one of the biggest train stations in the city. It is pretty much the equivalent of Tokyo Station, but on the west side of the city instead of the east side. Here, you can choose from dozens upon dozens of train lines to get you anywhere you need around Tokyo, including direct access to the airport. However, one of the biggest reasons Shinjuku is at the top of this list is not only the ability to get you anywhere inside Tokyo, but also the ability to get you anywhere outside Tokyo too. That's because the many train lines in Shinjuku also provide quick and easy access to a lot of great day trips from the city. You can quickly get to major tourist attractions like the city of Yokohama the iconic beaches of Kamakura and Enoshima, or even to the foothills of Hakone at Odawara Station. And wait, there's more. You could use the Chuo Line to get direct access to Mount Takao, a great day hike with a beautiful overlook of Tokyo. Or you can take a bus from Shinjuku straight to Gotemba Outlet Malls, giving you an amazing view of Fujisan itself. While the convenience of all the day trips is nice, what really puts Shinjuku at number one is how close you are to all the famous and amazing attractions in Tokyo. Shinjuku is almost at the heart of all the major tourist attractions in Tokyo. Major sites like Shibuya, Harajuku, Roppongi, Shimokitazawa, Ikebukuro, and so much more are in the area, with Shinjuku being at the center of it all. And by being so close to all the action, you never have to worry about missing last train. So say you're having a great time at an izakaya and end up missing the last train, that's no big deal. All you need to do is call a taxi to take you back to your hotel and it won't break the bank because it'll be so close to your hotel. And of course, with Shinjuku being such a major tourist hub, this area has hundreds of hotels suitable for all budgets. If you're on a budget, you can stay at cheap and unique capsule hotels like Book and Bed Tokyo, or if you've got some money, you can stay at fancy upscale getaways like the Keio Plaza Hotel. Shinjuku Station is a great place to stay for everyone and should be on your list to book a hotel at the next time you're in Tokyo. Now that we've covered all the great areas to stay in Tokyo, let's go over some very important tips the next time you book a hotel in this great city. While you can choose from several great booking apps, out of all of my years living in Japan, I have found Booking.com or Agoda to be some of the best apps to easily book a hotel in Japan. And just so you know, this is not a sponsored video. This is my actual opinion. If you book through either of these apps, you're almost guaranteed the hotel owners will be able to speak English or at the very least will be foreigner friendly. Also, when you're booking, make sure you only book eight stars and above. You're almost guaranteed to have a great experience at any of those hotels as long as they're at or higher than the ratings I mentioned. But out of all of these tips, the one I'm about to share with you is the biggest one and the one I definitely want you to remember when you book your hotel in Tokyo. Make sure you choose a hotel that is within walking distance of a major train station. I cannot tell you the amount of times I've heard when people will book a hotel that says it is in Shinjuku only to find out they have to walk 15 minutes to the actual Shinjuku station. That's because the districts and wards in Tokyo are huge and can easily deceive you into thinking you're close to a major train station just because you see the word Shinjuku or Shibuya in the address line. To solve this problem, when you're looking for a hotel, make sure you book it by looking at the map, not just staring at the list. This will give 
give you some actual bearing of where the hotel is in the city and will give you a good idea if the hotel is close to the train station or if you need to pick a closer one. Now you're ready to book your ideal hotel and enjoy your stay in Tokyo. If you found this video useful, give it a like so others can see this great information. Subscribe for more helpful content about Japan and check out my affiliate links below when you plan your next trip to Japan. Any click or purchase through these affiliate links will greatly help the channel so I can make more great videos like this for you. All right, that's going to do it. And until then, I'll see you next time.